Bonjour à tous et bienvenue à Pro Cycle Manager 2020 pour la stage numéro 1 de notre Tirreno Adriatico Playthrough. J'ai complètement oublié que cette race existait. J'ai aussi oublié que c'était en fait pris part aujourd'hui. Donc, oui, ça m'a pris par surprise. Mais cette fois, c'est une stage de 8 stages pour une fois. Nous avons un nouveau nouveau parcours, un nouveau ZCTS, courtesy of Mr. Emre. A very, uh, a very decent stage maker, we'll, we'll say. Uh, and we've got a start list thanks to OT. Uh, but yeah, eight stages for this 2020 edition of Tirreno. Starting with a sprint stage between Lido di Camaiore and Lido di Camaiore. We'll then move to another sprint stage between Camaiore and Folonica. Uh, stage 3 starts from Folonica. I don't know if it's Folonica or Folonica. We'll say Folonica. Uh, Folonica to Saturnia. Terni Caccia. Norcia Sarnano to the Sasso Tetto. And that is the queen stage uh, of this Tirreno, the climb of Sasso Teto. 13 kilometers, an average gradient of 7%, a max of 13, knowing that there is the first 3 kilometers are downhill. So the 6.7 average gradient isn't exactly the real one. We'll then have another very flat stage between Castelfidardo and Senigalia. Penultimate stage, uh, your, usual, your usual, like, kind of hilly circuit stage on the Tirreno, this time between Pieve Torina. And Loreto, and finally, the uh, classic 10 km time trial around San Benedetto del Tronto. Uh, yeah, I've taken a good team for once, right? There ain't no BTEC teams like that for now, right? We're not taking Gazprom or like EF. EF's a good team, but when I, to be fair, I took EF on the Dauphine and Dan Martinez won it in real life. So I feel like I'm kind of shit. Uh, but yeah, this time we're gonna take big boys. Uh, and we're going to take Trek. Trek's the photo with Vincenzo Nibeli. Should have, on paper, Giulio Ciccone. However, he contracted the good old Rona. Uh, and that means no Ciccone, so in the mountain, a la Vianuca Brambilla. And Julien Bernard to help me. Also, Antonio Nibeli, uh, if he can hold on. And uh, Peter Wenning. Peter Wenning, uh, 38 years old. Still on the bike. You'll have to see it. And when it comes to the sprint, a la Valex Kirsch. Hopefully, he won't complain too much about the safety of uh, Italian roads in this first stage of Tirreno Adratico. Lido di Camaiore, Lido di Camaiore, 131 kilometers, let's go. And it's plus three to start off this week for Vincenzo. That's cool, but wait, like, not now. I need you to be in shape later on in the tour. Plus three for Peter Venning, plus five for Julien Bernard. You know what? Mate, Julien Bernard, you're gonna go in the break. We're gonna send Julien in the break. He's got 78 mountain today. He is on top of his game. The Frenchman definitely looking to get the the, the mountain jersey of this Tirreno. At least that uh, that'll give me something to fight for uh, during these uh, transition stages. But there goes Julien Bernard. Nathan von Hoydonk in the wheel. Ferran Torres. Nope, not Ferran Torres. He plays for Manchester City. Alfredo Torres as well is there. Uh, Peloton not chasing us, so that is stupendous. We'll take a quick look at the shortlist in uh, just a few seconds. Uh, no, nah, now that Anthony Roy has attacked, they are chasing us. Fuck's sake, Anthony. Right, there is a distinct lack of breakaway uh, in the first slam of the Pitoro. Don't worry, I won't try to sell you stocks and um, Alec Baldwin won't be on your screen telling you that you've missed uh, buying on Amazon ads. And Google, and I think the other one is Apple. That's for eToro, by the way, if you didn't get it. I might be tired, so my jokes might not come across in it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Julien Bernard takes a first place uh, in the first climb of the Pitoro. Two more to go for uh, the Frenchman. We'll see if we've got a breakaway in uh, the latter part of the stage. Uh, but let's take a look at the breakaway. No, the, sorry, at the start list. There we go. Uh, we've got Asana with Jacob Ferrari and Alexander Ferrari as well. Uh, I'm I'm convinced Vlasov has something. I'm so I'm sorry. It's, uh, it's just no. It's impossible that this man is clean. And if he is, then please go to Ineos. Thank you. Uh, oh, Brandon and Zimmerman have attacked, and they are letting it go. All right, we'll try and follow with uh, with Julian. I'll be seeing other with Van der Poel, but he won't win the GC. However, he can win six out of eight stages. Now let's make it five, because there's a time trial. Gary Thomas. And Chris Froome are leading Ineos Grenadiers. No, ah, forgot about them. <laughs> I forgot that they were there. And the fact that they're here I means that they're fucking not there on the Tour de France. And that's mad. Uh, they're not letting me go again. Shit. 
no one for UAE. I mean, Rui Costa, I guess. But yeah, no one. Bora with Micah. Simon Yates with Milchelton. Uh, with Jack Hague as well. NTT, um, what the fuck am I expecting? EF, uh, Michael Woods. Sunweb, nah. Okay, there's no one. Let's be honest, the start list is quite poor from that point onwards. Okay. So it's between Nibali and Garen Thomas and Jacob Ferrari to find a winner on this Tirreno. Good. Georg Zimmerman is going for the points at the Pitoro for the second time. Matthias Brandel is dead. Uh, we'll see if Julian can like come back. I don't believe he will. But you never know. On a lucky day, things can happen. Uh, we'll protect Vincenzo already. Uh, no, it's going to be at least two points for uh, for Julian, which is good. And that means that on paper, I'm two points ahead of Georg Zimmerman. Uh, Julian is back on the leading group. Julian came back on Georg Zimmerman, and the German appears to be quite dead. Uh, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue trying to beat him uh, in the Pitoro. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm not saying this, setting myself up to fail. Uh, but we, we should be good. We should be good. Here's Georg Zimmermann. Here's Julien Bernard. 2.4 kilometers until the summit. And the German is indeed completely knackered. I'm pretty sure, yeah, if I attack, he can't follow me. That's going to be an easy 5 points for Julien Bernard. And then we'll be back in the peloton. There we go. 12 points for Julien Bernard. 8 for Georg Zimmermann after the first day. Uh, it's a very, very good first stage for Julien, who's now back in the peloton. 50 kilometers until the final sprint, uh, and as I said, we'll be sprinting for Alex Kersh, but obviously we won't forget about Vincenzo Nibeli, who can definitely be a, a sprinter today. And there's the IS of uh, Pietra Santa coming up, and you can see all the sprinters already being at the front, uh, and actually already attacking. Mikel Bieg. With uh, Molano and Gaviria in the wheel, that is a big train. Yeah, I don't think there's anything to do with Vincenzo here. Nah, it's fine. We'll stay in the peloton. Ackerman fighting with Gaviria, and it's going to be points for the Colombian here. Five points for Gaviria. Any bonification seconds? Yep, three seconds for him. Uh, but that won't change anything, uh, because the winner of the stage will be in the leading jersey here. Hold up, we've got breaks. How the fuck do we have breaks? There's one wind. Interesting. Very interesting. 10 kilometers to go. Uh, I'm going to remove that. There we go. And uh, Brambia is going to lead our break. Uh, sorry, lead our train. My bad. We're 1v1-ing right now with Alpes in Phoenix. And we should be able to get the, the, the team in purple. Anthony Nibali is now going to take the relay of Gianluca Brambia. There we go, Yanuka can go on the side. Uh, I mean, the thing is, right, if there's wind, <laughs> there's potential to do something, uh, like, in this corner. I don't expect anything to happen, but it could. It genuinely could. Okay, now the wind has changed. The wind has changed, so nothing's going to happen. But Peter Venning is going to start our sprint 2.6 kilometers to, onto the line. We're not winning this, just for the record. Uh, 1.9. There goes Kunde Court. Uh, there goes Alex Kirsch. And I launched way too early. So shame I was actually fighting for something. But Mathieu van der Poel wins the first stage in the Camarillo ahead of Michael Matthews and Alex Kirsch. Big P3 for uh, for the Luxembourg rider. I probably would have been able to win it had I not launched this far ahead. Uh, I think I launched at 1.9 with my with um with Kunde Court. Um, and I thought I was at like 1.2, which is an L. Uh, but Gaviria, Restrepo, Cornelson, Petit, Ackerman, Nibeli, and Simon Shinock to complete the top 10. Nice, nice, ninth position, sorry, for Vincenzo. Uh, apparently, some riders are dropped, but I don't expect them to be in the other group. And Van der Poel is already the new leader. I mean, I did say he could win 5 out of 8. He's already won 1. Uh, Michael Matthews comes in, uh, in second position with Alex Kersh in a third place, our sprinter, doing bits. Vincenzo in ninth place, making sure not to get caught up in any echelons. There are indeed no gaps except for Georg Zimmermann. Points-wise, uh, Mathieu Van der Poel takes the lead. Mountain-wise, Julien Bernard. Best young rider, Mathieu Van der Poel, but Simon Shinock will be wearing the uh, jersey. And the best team will be Trek. Uh, so GC-wise, I mean, yeah, it looks like this. Didn't expect to, to see any different. Uh, let's be honest, I didn't expect Vincenzo to be any higher than P10. But that's quite good for, uh, for us. We're already uh, placed, should we finish in the same second as someone like Gary Thomas. 
Uh, and yes, yeah, Simon Chanok will be wearing the white jersey tomorrow. Stonks. Let me take a look at the profile again. Uh, it'll be a very boring stage another sprint stage between Kamayore and Fononica. Fononica sorry. Uh, but I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. If you want to see more of Vincenzo Nibali's endeavors on this tier, then do consider subscribing to the channel already. If you're new on here, you probably missed uh, my Tour de France playthrough, but I'm doing it with FDG and Thibaut Pinot. Uh, and it would mean a lot if you lot would uh, go ahead and watch it because unlike in real life Thibaut isn't 30 minutes down in my playthrough uh, and thank god but yeah I hope you've enjoyed it as I said leave a like down below uh, if you did if you didn't leave a dislike leave a comment as well uh, to tell me what you thought about the episode and I shall catch you in the very near future my name has been Black Hole. it has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys have a great day and goodbye pull up, pull up in the gold I'm but them all the man need feeding, I don't wanna go bombi Them I don't know what I do when I go from feeling Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bass Snapping with a phone and dab, I'll stop a man with a duster Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster